Jesus shed his blood for our sins. Wash them away. The Bible says he throws them into the sea of forgiveness. Never to bring it back up to you again. What a wonderful Savior. He came and he died for our sins. And on the third day, God raised him from the grave. And he was resurrected and he went on to heaven to prepare a place for us. And I don't know about you, but I get excited about him coming back. Anybody glad that he's coming back? sure that you will see his face in peace. I'm talking to you. Don't let this moment pass you by. You've tried everything else and it didn't work because Jesus is the only one who works. I said Jesus is the answer to every problem. I said Jesus is still the only answer. Amen? And so, so Tonight, I'm asking you to give him a try. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So I want to lead us in a prayer of salvation tonight because this is why we do what we do. We come to glorify God so that people will have an encounter with Jesus. So that blinded eyes will be open. Amen? Amen. And that people will leave out totally changed as a result of being in his presence. Now, remember, this is not about religion, but this is a relationship. After you receive Jesus as your personal Savior, then you have to be taught how to be a disciple. You have to be disciple in order to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen? That's where the beautiful family of the church comes in. Where you have elders, people who care about you, to teach you how to walk upright. So that you can be strong no matter what comes. Amen? Do I have any disciples in here today? I know we're living in a time where people don't think that's important, but who told you that? <laughs> Jesus has already laid it out. We're going to receive all of his benefits that we have to do with his way. Amen? So if you can stand up, I'm going to ask everybody to stand as we approach the throne of grace. And I want everybody who even those of us who know the Lord to repeat this prayer because I want those who are repeating it for the first time to hear our support and our love. Amen? So close your eyes and bow your heads and repeat after me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I come to you in the name of your Son. Jesus Christ. I believe that he died for my sins. And I believe on the third day you raised him from the grave. Lord Jesus, I repent for my sins. Forgive me. Wash me. And make me whole. I invite you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life for the rest of my life. Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit so that I will be empowered to live a life pleasing to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.